Welcome to the aliens of Earth. A couple of years ago, we were sent into space. Our mission was to discover new forms of life, like aliens. Throughout our journey, we kept a close eye on our home planet. Over the years of space travel, we found out that something has changed. Our once vibrant and colorful planet isn't Earth anymore, and we are the ones responsible for this transformation. It's as if we've forgotten about the incredible creatures we've already discovered. So our mission has changed. Instead of explore alien life in distant galaxies, we are now going to introduce you to the unique and fascinating aliens of our own planet. Maybe you already know one of these. Let's see. Do you know what this is? Alidex, open up. And. Hello. I'm Erin, and today I'm going to introduce you to five amazing species of invertebrata. Today we start with the leafcutter ant. These small, reddish-brown insects are found in Central and South America. They're recognized by their distinct appearance with strong mandibles and segmented bodies. These ants inhabit extensive underground colonies in forests, creating complex tunnel systems. They're notable for their unique diet harvesting and carrying leaf fragments to their nests, where they cultivate fungus for food. Their incredible capabilities include their organized social structure with different roles workers, soldiers, and the queen each performing specific tasks. Remarkably strong, they can carry leaves many times their body weight. In the ecosystem, leafcutter ants play a crucial role as decomposers and gardeners. By pruning vegetation, they influence plant growth and nutrient cycling. Moreover, their fungal gardens contribute to soil health. Next up, grasshoppers, ranging in size and color, are known for their distinctive ability to jump with powerful hind legs and their chewing mouth parts. These insects inhabit various habitats worldwide, from grasslands to forests. Their remarkable jumping ability to cover considerable distances can save them from predators. Grasshoppers exhibit solitary or swarming behaviors depending on species. Their life cycle involves several stages, from egg to nymph to adult, with molting between these phases. While they primarily serve as food for various predators, their population explosions can lead to agricultural damage impacting crops and vegetation. Despite this, they remain integral to the balance of many ecosystems. Bees, characterized by their fuzzy bodies, are renowned for their essential role in pollination and honey production. These industrious insects inhabit various habitats from forests to urban gardens. Bees play a pivotal role as pollinators, facilitating the reproduction of flowering plants by transferring pollen between flowers. Additionally, they collect nectar to produce honey, a valuable food source stored within their hives. Within a colony, bees have specific roles. Workers, drones, and the queen each contributing uniquely to the hive's function. Their coordinated efforts result in the creation of honeycombs, the rearing of young bees, and the collection of resources. In the ecosystem, bees are fundamental to maintaining biodiversity and sustaining plant communities. However, threats like habitat loss, pesticide exposure, and diseases have led to declines in bee populations, posing significant challenges to both natural ecosystems and agriculture. Preserving bee populations remains crucial for ecological balance and food security. Moving on to millipedes, with their long, segmented bodies and numerous legs, are fascinating arthropods found in diverse habitats, from forests to deserts. Their life cycle involves gradual metamorphosis, with juveniles resembling smaller versions of adults. Despite their slow-moving nature, millipedes possess remarkable defensive strategies. When threatened, 
They may cool into a tight spiral or emit foul-smelling secretions to deter predators. Some species even produce toxins. These gentle detritivores primarily feed on decaying plant matter and organic debris, contributing to the decomposition process and soil enrichment. Now, the Araneus diadematus, commonly known as the cross spider, has a round body with distinctive patterns on its back, often found in gardens, forests, and meadows. They weave orb-shaped webs to catch prey, feeding primarily on insects like flies and small bugs. When a cross spider catches prey in its web, it swiftly immobilizes it by wrapping the victim in silk, preserving it for later consumption. The silk they produce is an incredible material known for its strength and elasticity, even surpassing steel in some aspects. Its properties have led to studies exploring potential applications in various fields, including medicine, engineering, and textiles. They contribute to the ecosystem by controlling insect populations and maintaining ecological balance. We've discovered the incredible lives of these amazing creatures on our planet, highlighting their vital influence on our ecosystem. Our actions on Earth has reduced the habitats of these creatures, leading to an imbalanced Earth. Now that we're aware of the impact of our actions, it's imperative to become better stewards of our planet. It all begins with ourselves. Ensuring that gardens stay green, and nature remains clean. Let's prioritize treating our fellow Earthlings and their natural habitats with respect. And remember, as long as we're causing trouble for the life we've already discovered, the real aliens might stay hidden for a good reason. Like and subscribe to explore more of Earth-owned creatures.